Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are our brand new games, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know what the region is going to be, but we got our new starter Pokemon. We got Sprigatito, we got Oikoko, and we got Quaxley. In this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about them, and we're just going to have a little fun about speculating their Pokemon types. How's it going, YouTube? My name is Joe DeFlamin here, and as you guys know, I have been a small-time Pokemon content creator. But as I've been trying to get better at this stuff, I decided let's do a discussion video about the brand new starter Pokemon for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Now, at first glance, I think some of us are going to be either we're going to be Team Scarlet, we're going to be Team Violet. I'm probably going to get both of those games. And if you want, let me know in the comments below what your starter Pokemon is going to be, what game you're going to be getting, and just your initial thoughts about Generation 9. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before though, I do want to show this tweet that I made. Uh, and I said it on Twitter. I'm stating it right now for the starter Pokemon in uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I wanted to be... I wanted to try something new, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to try to start my own uh, belief on how Pokemon are going to be, you know, they get their hashtags for the starter Pokemon, all that, like we had uh, the Sobble Squad and the Grookey Gang and all that. So I decided to do this tweet, stating it right now for those who are interested in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. If you pick Sprigatito, that's going to be the hashtag Sprigatito Squad. If you're Foycoco, it's the Foycoco Force. And if you're Quaxley, it's the Quaxley Clan. And that one was admittedly the hardest one. I was trying to think of a good name to go after Quaxley. So I just said, what the heck? Let's change it. We'll just change the C to a Q and go from there. But that's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Go on that tweet. Let me know about what you guys are going to be, what your starter Pokemon is going to be. And without further ado, let's just get into the starter Pokemon itself. I'm going to give you my thoughts and we're going to just speculate on their types. So first off, we've got Sprigatito here. Now, admittedly, Sprigatito is probably the best starter Pokemon of the three. At least in my opinion. I'm probably going to be a Sprigatito uh, trainer when we get Scarlet and Violet, if I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. Now, looking at it, I mean, we've seen what its namesakes are. It's got Sprig, which is a very small type of branch, and Gatito, which is Spanish for cat, and I hope I pronounced that right, because I have not taken Spanish in over eight years. Last time I took it was sophomore year of high school. But going off its design, I mean, and I'll also just enlarge it real quick so people can get a little bit better view of it. I'm just going to say it right now. Looking at its design, I see what people say that this is Litton's weed-smoking girlfriend. It's hilarious, yes, but for the most part, I don't see it like that. The way that I see Sprigatito is very simple. It's based off of a kitten. It's going to be quadrupedal. At least I hope it's quadrupedal. The only quadrupedal starter Pokemon we had for a final evolution is Samurott. So I am pulling for a Sprigatito final evolution to be a quadruped. Just once, Game Freak. Give us that sense of, of sanity and whatnot. But if we're going by its final starter Pokemon type, I've seen people go, you know, oh, it's going to be mono grass or it's going to be grass fighting because it's a Spanish region. So it's going to be based on puss and boots. And honestly, I've got two types that I think is going to be Sprigatito's final evolution. The first one is grass and psychic. And the reason I say that is because I've seen a bunch of YouTubers and people on Twitter going on this that Sprigatito is based on what they call the Lynx, which is a very extinct uh, breed of cat. And if that's the case, I guess Lynxes were really uh, intelligent. Now, for me, I am a very intelligent po uh, trainer, which is probably why I'm picking Sprigatito, because great minds think alike, am I right? <laughs> um, but I don't see Grass Psychic, even though I can kind of get it based on the eyes and whatnot. It probably has, you know, some good uh, memory and whatnot. But the type that I think it's going to be is Grass Fairy. Just because... Now, I know Fairy type gets that monotype or that stereotype that fairies are feminine and whatnot. But I just feel like for this Pokemon, so just with how cute 
it is. How adorable it is. I mean, I'm a dog person. You guys have seen uh, my husky in a bunch of my videos. You've seen my chihuahua in a bunch of my... I'm a dog person. So for me to like a cat is pretty significant. So for me, I think it's going to be grass and fairy type. Uh, and I'll even say this. I'm going to put its ability. Now, we already know. The starter Pokemon, their generic abilities are Overgrow, Blaze, and Tor. But here's the one that I think is going to be for Sprigatito. I think it's going to get... I'm going to say... No, I can't get Fairy Aura because that's Xerneas' special ability. Um, I think it'll get maybe like a, like a boost to Fairy Type. Maybe like Pixelate, but not so strong where Pixelate is still broken. But let me know what you guys think about Sprigatito. And also let me know... Are you going to be part of the Sprigatito squad? In the comments below. The next Pokemon that we're going to talk about is the Fire-type starter. And that is Fuecoco. And of them, ladies and gentlemen, I will say this right now. It is like somewhat of a neutral one for me. I mean, I'm not really too uh, fond of it. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I'm not really liking it too much. But I do think... That it's a nice design. And this is where people are going off on Fuecoco. The Chinese Zodiac, ladies and gentlemen. We've known since Pokemon started that all Fire-type Pokemon, have, or at least the starter Pokemon, have been revolved around the Chinese Zodiac. With the Year of the Rat, the Year of the Pig, the Year of the Dog. Apparently, Fennekin is a Fennec Fox, which is a type of dog, so... I guess foxes are a mixture of cats and dogs. Uh, got the year of the rooster, which was Torchic. You got the year of the monkey, which is Cyndaquil. The year of the dragon, which is Charmander. And the year of the tiger, which was Litten. So that leaves the ox, the rabbit, I think is what, Yeah, rabbit, the snake, and the horse. And also the sheep. Oh, right, wait. This is an early one. I'm sorry, I... I I grabbed this image. So, rabbits are taken. So, it's snake, uh, horse, sheep, and ox. At first glance, this mod right here, Fuecoco, it's probably going to be... Uh, it's probably going to be a snake if I had to make a legitimate guess as to what it's going to be. Uh, but apparently, as I found out from research on Google, I guess a male crocodile is called a bull? Which is really weird. And a female is called a cow. I feel like that's a joke, ladies and gentlemen. I really do. But if that's the case, then... I mean, ox is the easiest way to go. But given its design, I'm going to say it's going to stay in the year of the snake. If I'm going to make a full, honest opinion on that. And the type that I personally believe that Foycoco is going to be... Is steel type. I mean... Huh. You would think also as a, as a Steel-type expert, ladies and gentlemen, I'd be picking Foycoco as a Steel-type. But here's why I'm going to go with it being a Steel. Foycoco, it's based on the crocodile, and apparently crocodiles with the bull or the snake or whatever, that's going to be its reference to the Chinese Zodiac. But the Steel-type is because I feel like its skin is going to be so solid that almost nothing can penetrate it. And furthermore... And this is where it ties into how the starter types are. Usually, if it's a dual-type Pokemon, it's going to stay with the advantage over the opposing Pokemon. So in the case of Sprigatito being Grass and Fairy, Fire Steel would be for Oikoko because not only is Fire strong to Grass, but Steel is strong to uh, Fairy. So... That's my prediction on Fuecoco. It's going to be a fire steel type for its final evolution, ladies and gentlemen. And let me know if I'm right. And last up, ladies and gentlemen, we have our water type starter. This stupid, ugly duckling known as Quaxley. I will be legitimately honest with you guys. I do... I'm not a big fan of this one. Like, of all three of them, this is my least favorite starter. Now, as most... Of these starter Pokemon's designs, origins, all that stuff. At first glance, 
we all have one that we're like, eh, it's kind of the weak bunch of it. For me, that's Quaxi. I know some people are weak on Fuecoco because they call it an apple dinosaur. And I'll admit I laughed at some of those. But for me, I'm just not a fan of this one because we already had an Ugly Duckling origin Pokemon and it's called Duckling. So I just don't see how they could do that with Quaxley. Now, I also get the mindset of it. The Quack is spelled with a Q. So, or not, not quite, uh, like how it, it's spelled and whatnot. Uh, I mean, I guess the blue feet is based on a blue-footed booby, which is a flightless bird, which is probably why it's a pure water-type Pokemon. Instead of a water flying, like we thought it probably looks like and should be. Uh, but going off of its design, ladies and gentlemen, the only type that I could see Quaxley becoming is fighting. Because... Fighting types are synonymous with, I guess, its reference to being a conquistador and Don Quixote, which is one of the greatest books ever. I'll, I mean, I've read that book three times, ladies and gentlemen, and I probably will read it a fourth because it is just that good of a book. And knowing how conquistadors are, I could see its hat staying, you know, getting a little bit bigger and becoming a real conquistador like hat with the pompadour and all that so water fighting is probably my best guess for quaxley's final evolution now i've seen theories that it could be a water dark type be a pirate i don't think we need another water dark type uh because we already have a water dark starter pokemon in greninja and last i checked every starter generation the types do not overlap in a sense of we don't have any of the same starter type either grass fire or water where but so like how bulbasaur it's a grass poison type no other grass starter pokemon has been that combination case in point there hasn't been a grass poison type and also if we're looking at the fire starters i mean firefighting that was a joke ladies and gentlemen but aside from that when it comes to the starter Pokemon, I mean, you have to have generic uh, base fire type and all that. So, for me, I just don't see how this thing is going to be water dark. And also, I'm just saying it right now. Empoleon is probably my favorite Pokemon in all of history. I love its design. I love its type. I love its origin. I do not want another bird... To be a water steel type. Game Freak, if you listen to this guy, do not have another water steel type. Please, I am begging you. That is my take on Quaxley, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, and again, my opinions could change in a couple of months. But for now, my thoughts are very simple. I have a grass fairy for uh, Sprigatito. I have a fire steel or for Fuecoco, and I have water fighting for Quaxley because, and that will continue the cycle where grass beats water, fairy beats fighting, water beats fire, fighting beats steel, fire beats grass, steel beats fairy. And in all fairness, oh wait, no, fighting doesn't resist steel, otherwise, that would have been a real perfect combination type. But that's gonna be. My takes on the starter types of the unnamed region based on Spain, ladies and gentlemen. And let me know in the comments below what you think of my predictions. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know your thoughts below. Go give me a follow on Twitter. Give me a follow on Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.